Don't worry about it. Um, hello, and welcome to this video. I just recorded the intro for my other video, so if you just watched the other one, then you, I look familiar, to say the least. But yes, this is my hair after straightening and everything. I'm gonna give y'all the look. Um, but yeah, this video is a little bit more informative than my last hair straightening video. Tips for getting a better result than this, as well as avoiding heat damage and just a little bit of information. So yeah, but yeah, bye y'all. Y'all see me? Okay, so um, I wash blow dry. No, I wash and deep condition my hair last night. I applied two leave-ins. So this is my new baby. My sister got me this for thank for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, and I'm really excited to use this. So um, today is my birthday, and I'm gonna be straightening my hair, wearing it like cute, suppressed for my birthday. Babe, don't mind me. Yeah, it's going on 10, so it's been about 11 hours that my hair has been in these two phases. Is my hair gonna be stiff? Something is leaving like a film on my hair almost. But my hair feels really smooth, so that's a good thing. Look at that thing. It's a little like luster. So I just um, finished. I'm trying not to talk with my hands too much, but I'm just so happy I haven't had my nails done in a long time. So yes. But, um,. This is how it looks. I just finished blow drying the other side and then I took like I just let it all out and I blow dry the middle so I didn't I won't have that separation. Are y'all ready? So I got it open. Um for the most part. So this is the Babyliss Pro Titanium one inch stainless steel iron. I'm gonna put this at 14 because no ma'am. I really probably could use it. See, cause the other one got 485. But I mean, 475, that's not much of a difference. But I mean, 385, 375 is not much of a difference. All these numbers, y'all, I'm dyslexic. I can't be dealing with all that many numbers like that. Is it heated up? How can I tell? How do you know? Okay, you got some nice, like, holes or grip. I don't know what to call it, but that's nice. It's like I don't have to do as much work to keep the flat ends where they need to be. Beautiful. It's gonna be stiff. Usually when I straighten my hair, I don't air dry. I mean, not that it's anything wrong with air drying, just to stretch the hair. I honestly recommend it. I wouldn't say um, dry your hair to 100% because, you know, just in case you don't like the tangle properly or it's not stretched enough. It can cause damage going from a very curly state to smoothed out with heat and your hair is already dry versus smoothing it um, strand out while it's wet using heat but not using as much manipulation. It's a little confusing, but once you get it, like you kind of understand what's going on and it's like, okay. And you can kind of like find the best way to prevent the heat damage as much as possible. Deeper in her TV, very knowledgeable. I love her videos. Yeah, like my hair is 
I'm about to cry. Stink, stink. You see how it's like not moving? I don't even know if I should put the curls in it because I don't see it being all like fume, fume. And my hair is stiff. I'm just about to go ahead and finish. And yeah. Okay, y'all. So I think I figured it out what it was. But before I get to that, I want to show y'all how I straighten this piece and get like all up in the root without burning my hair. Of course, take your flat iron and push it back and up. Like push it towards your scalp and then up and then close the top one on the bottom one. Cause you're gonna be using the bottom one to push it up. I think that the problem is the deep conditioner that I used. I feel like I didn't rinse it all the way out. But um yeah, I feel like I didn't rinse it all the way out and that's like how I can feel it like all up in my roots because I really feel the product, whatever it is, like really all up in my roots. And I know I didn't put enough product, enough of the other two products on my hair to feel it like all throughout my hair the way I'm feeling it. Um, but yeah, just, I mean, just give y'all a few tips so that y'all don't have like the same problems because I do want this video to be helpful. Um, the main point was to like tell y'all how you can avoid heat damage. You want to use as little manipulation as possible when you're bringing your hair from the wet state to the dry state. And by manipulation, that's just combing, like, you know, just combing it and stuff like that. A blow dryer attachment is helpful, but just breaking through your hair with heat while it's wet, especially like soaking wet can cause heat damage so yeah use low manipulation when you're transitioning so i'll use the tension method if you see any of my other suppressed videos you know like how i um blow dry the hair out. i hold the hair i comb the hair out while it's wet i hold it taut and then i use um, the blow dryer to just dry the hair while i'm still holding it taut so that way you know you're getting it from wet to dry, but you're not using much manipulation at all. I honestly feel like that's the best method, so I'm gonna just leave y'all with that. So that will help to prevent heat damage. Another thing you wanna do is not use as many passes. You wanna control the temperature in the room because another thing that will cause heat damage is if your strands are holding heat for a long time. Like, you know how when you straighten a piece and then you let it, like you hold it in your hand, you can still feel that it's hot. You don't want it to stay hot like it should be cold faster than slower <laughs> room like i like being cold anyway so when i'm in a room it's probably 60 degrees 60 to 70 degrees you don't want to use too much pressure i like that from lavelle he said i hope that's i don't even know if that's this man's name i'm sorry if it's not but um yeah he mentioned like the amount of pressure and heat you use it usually doesn't take much and using too much pressure can cause damage to the um, strand, how it curls, so that in turn is heat damage. You don't wanna to use too much heat. You don't wanna to continue to go over the same uh, strand of hair too many times. It honestly shouldn't take that much. And if the hair is puffing up right after you just went over it, you probably didn't smooth the hair good enough when it was blow dry. That's why the blow dry is so important because you really wanna get the hair as smooth as possible because when you use the flat iron to do all the work, you get damage. You don't wanna use the flat iron to get the hair smooth. The hair should already be smooth and then the flat iron is just like getting it sleek and straight. Like, look at how this is sticking. Like, look how my hair is sticking to my head. Like, that is not. But yes, yeah, so, like I said, I realized that it was a deep conditioner just to avoid, like, any stiffness due to products. So definitely read the directions on the products that you're using because if they're not used correctly, they can, like, not work correctly. So read the directions. Obviously, make sure you rinse everything out completely and do not overdo it. 
a little will go a long way, especially in products that are made for hair straightening, like um, silk and serums and stuff like that. Use a little, work it into the hair because it's, it will go a long way, okay? Okay. You know what? I am just going to leave it here. Asleep. Let me stop singing everything. Sorry. Um, and how sweet is the moon? Um, but yeah, so that's this video. Make sure you stay tuned. I love this sweater. It feels so like, um, was the word like high quality you know but uh yeah i hope this video was helpful that you were able to learn something that you will take with you to your next to the next surprise um if you like this video make sure you give me a like and you subscribe and you let me know what you liked about it what you didn't like about it in the comment section below what else oh um like i said it's my birthday so i'll be recording two more videos today i believe so yeah subscribe so you can see the next ones and hit the bell so you'll be notified when i post them and i will see y'all next time bye